Hello, I'm Max Lawrence. And I'm John Varnes. This is a real news update for November 4th, 2016. In the embattled city of Aleppo, in the heart of Syria, Syrian rebel groups are planning to defy a fierce ultimatum from the Russia President Vladimir Putin. This ultimatum states that anyone left in the western part of Aleppo will be bombed by sundown on Friday. This comes during heavy fighting by rebel forces f fight pro-Assad forces. A Russian aircraft carrier group has almost finished its controversial voyage to the eastern Mediterranean and is expected to take part in the attack threatened by the Russian president. This comes just months after the establishment of Russian air bases in Syria and the indiscriminate bombing by anti-Assad forces by Russian Su-27 multi-role attack jets. The ultimatum given to the Syrian rebels by the Russian president stand on the lines of we will give people a 10-hour window to get out of the area. Whoever is left by it, this is an enemy Russia introduced this 10-hour pause in the fighting after being pushed by the United States and is generally regarded to be supporting pro-Assad forces. Russia has said that they have opened corridors for both fighters and civilians to leave the area of West Aleppo ahead of what has been said by the U.S. officials to be an attack that would level the western part of Aleppo, adding to the already managed mangled city. All eyes fall on some recent developments in Turkey, where two notable members of the pro-Kurdish party have been detained along with some other of their MPs. These people were detained in their homes in the late hours of the night under suspected charges of terrorism and security concerns. This comes with the history of a three decade long conflict between the Kurdish people who wish to be recognized as independent and the Turkish government who sees their claim as being illegitimate. What the Turkish government says is the jailing of enemies of the state. Others say it is an almost Nazi style dictatorship. On the other side of the globe, in the final days leading towards the United States presidential election, the FBI has found emails related to Hillary Clinton's administration as Secretary of State on the laptop belonging to the divorced husband of Huma Abedin, Anthony Weiner, who was reportedly involved in sexing a minor, according to a U.S. official. At this point, however, it remains to be seen whether these emails are significant to the FBI's investigation into Clinton. The Wall Street Journal reported Wednesday that the FBI was facing an internal feud over how to handle the Clinton Foundation case in the middle of election season. It is still unclear whether the FBI inquiry into the Clinton Foundation was a full-blown investigation. However, no known charges have been filed related to the Foundation. That's all for today. Thank you for watching Real News Update.